Hey bro, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing your reading from February 28th to March 6th. Now this is gonna be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Libra, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge here is the Ace of Swords. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Empress. Wow. Okay, so Libra. Your challenge here has a lot to do with the Ace of Swords energy. I'm really strongly getting your biggest challenge here has a lot to do with you finding the truth out or wanting to get to the bottom of something. You want clarity, you want truth, and it's been very difficult to make sense of something in your life. We're gonna clarify the Ace of Swords and see what your important message is here in a moment. Now, in the recent past, you have the Strength, the King of Cups, and the Three of Swords. It was really difficult for you to get over someone here in the past, okay? I am sensing here that there was maybe a third party situation or some Somebody here wasn't completely honest with you even if this wasn't the case I'm really strongly getting that for many of you you love somebody very deeply here and you tried really hard to make things work however there was always some sort of third party interference or some sort of issues here that really affected your ability maybe to move forward with this person okay I also see some of you had love come into your life in the recent past while you were still getting over something here that wasn't really working out and this person really tried hard to maybe offer you love and help you get over something here we're going to clarify and get more information for you in a moment. Now, in the present moment, you have the Emperor, the Four of Pentacles, and the Sun. So I'm really strongly getting in the present moment, there's something beautiful that's coming into your life. It looks like it can lead to a lot of stability here, and it looks like it could lead to a lot of happiness. For others of you, there's someone here that's still holding on to you. It could be an Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I'm getting Leo or maybe an Aries. We're going to find out more when we clarify. In the near future, you have the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles in reverse. So it looks like for many of you in the near future, there's something here that is finally going to come to an end, okay? And I think here what's coming to an end is a missed opportunity. Some of you felt bad because maybe there was an, um, there was an opportunity, excuse me, that you believed was going to work in your favor and it didn't really go in your favor, but there's going to be a new opportunity here. And actually, there's a reason why something here in the near future comes to an end, even though you may say to yourself wow I failed or it didn't work out no this is how it's supposed to be because the wheel of fortune's here and the wheel of fortune's all about your destiny so something beautiful is going to be coming in for you we're going to find out what that is when we clarify now what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck you have the empress four of cups in reverse seven of wands two of wands six of wands death and yeah that's it. And you have the Knight of Swords. So for many of you, there's something here that you've been running away from for quite some time. And I think one of the things that you've been running away from is the fact that um, there's been a lot of how do I say this? There's been a lot of disappointments, okay, in the recent past. A lot of things that you thought were supposed to work out for you didn't really work out for you. Something here you thought was going to lead to a lot of success for you, it ended up just ending randomly. I feel like this has a lot to do with maybe someone you were in separation with. For many of you, this has a lot to do with you still getting over something here, okay? The good news that I'm seeing, okay, you're slowly getting over this, which is good. Um, what I see here for you, Libra, is, is that there's something here after an ending that is going to come into your life and I think what you don't really see is that this situation is actually going to turn out to be a lot better than you thought it would and the reason why I'm saying that is because the empress is upright some of you are going to be pregnant you know or you may find out that you're pregnant around this time I'm also getting some of you are going to be dealing with a water sign cancer Scorpio Pisces or a fire sign Leo Sagittarius Aries or you could be releasing a fire sign and moving towards a water sign there's definitely somebody here that maybe at one point you thought mm, I don't know if I really want this person but I think your mind changes there's a lot of changes that are happening and I see that you're open now you're open to an offer of love that's coming in from this person now that you're recognizing 
something here in your past didn't work out, you're accepting that. And that's the first step to actually being able to move forward. Okay. So let's get into your reading and uh, let's see what's going on for you. Let's clarify the Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords is clarified by the Ace of Swords, the Hangman, and the Ace of Pentacles. The reason why a lot of you are finding it difficult to maybe move towards this new opportunity, or you may find it difficult for this person to move towards you, and I don't feel like this is your person, I feel like this is you. It's like you want to take action towards this new opportunity, but you're also still trying to gather information about it. You don't want to just jump into something very quickly without really, you know, really understanding, understanding, and overstanding what you're getting into. Um, so your biggest challenge here is to get to the bottom of why someone here isn't taking action or you know getting to the bottom of why you're not taking action in order to harness this opportunity i think one of the things that creates a lot of fear for you right now um you know is the fact that i keep hearing aquarius some of you are dealing with an aquarius or you're you're you may have aquarius in your chart there's something here about an aquarius and i'm really strongly getting like you want to move forward with this person you want to take action towards this person you don't want to miss this opportunity but you're also afraid at the same time that if you do release yourself and you do move towards it and you don't know all the information something here may fail and that's something here that's your biggest challenge right it's like the opportunity is there and it looks great but you may be afraid Okay, so that's your challenge, getting to the bottom of something and making sense of it before you actually harness it and take action towards it. Now, let's clarify the recent past. Let's clarify the Three of Swords. So the three of swords is clarified by the fool, the death, the strength. So in the recent past, I'm really strongly getting there was a very painful ending that happened. And this painful ending really forced you into a brand new direction. Some of you had a new beginning with a Scorpio here, maybe a Leo. There's something here about you getting over someone here from the past. And as a result of you getting over from uh, getting over someone or something here from the past, a new opportunity showed up. Tell me more about the King of Cups in the recent past. So the King of Cups is clarified by the King of Pentacles. You have the Five of Cups and the world. So in the recent past, I'm really strongly getting that there was an ending that happened. There was a brand new person that came into your life, brand new opportunity. And again, you had to really push yourself to move forward in the past, even though you were very much connected to this person who you had a bad experience with. Okay. So new cycle came in for you. Now in the present moment, something beautiful, like very beautiful is coming into your life. Um, stable, stable, solid connection that's leading to a lot of happiness. Tell me more about the sun in the present moment for Libra. So the sun is clarified by the king of swords. You have the knight of wands and the wheel of fortune. So one of the things that you have to keep in mind here in the present moment with this fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, could be a um, Scorpio that you're dealing with, Aquarius, Taurus. I'm also getting a Leo here. You right now are realizing that you can have happiness. You deserve happiness. You deserve love. One of the things that I'm seeing here, Libra, for you is in the present moment, whoever this person is that's kind of somewhat on and off with you or you're still trying to make sense of this is you know if this is somebody that you want to see yourself with this person may be a part of your destiny okay because this is somebody who can bring you a lot of happiness but there's also a lot of room here for growth between you and this person you still have to get to know one another is what i'm getting here uh, but there's a very strong connection here that can possibly develop over time if you're open to it tell me more about the emperor in the present moment So the Emperor is clarified by the Three of Swords, the Ten of Swords, and 
the four of swords. So whoever this person is that's coming into your life, they're going to help you stabilize this pain that you've gone through. It's been such a very, very hard road for you when it comes to ending something here. You're still someone holding on to this pain, but this person is here to help you. They're, they're here to help you release this pain. They're here to help you completely transform this pain into love, into happiness. And this is something that a lot of you are slowly getting comfortable with. Now, in the present moment, some of you are dealing with someone here who's still holding on to you. Tell me more about the four of pentacles in the present moment. The four of pentacles is clarified by the magician. You have the page of swords and the three of wands. So for many of you, and this is a side story, some of you are going to resonate with this. Some of you are still waiting for someone who's been at a distance. Okay. You've been um, very much connected to someone here at a distance. You're trying to figure out if it's worth having a new beginning with this person or not. And I feel like a lot of you are dealing with somebody here, or this could be you. You may be trying to manifest somebody here that you're still very much still connected to. Okay. So I'm getting that for many of you there is a very strong possibility that this person can be a part of your destiny but you also have to recognize what you're still holding on to and how you need to release that in order to move forward okay and this is why your challenge is the hangman with the ace of swords because it's like there's a beautiful opportunity for you but you're still holding on to maybe some sort of pain or some sort of person who is at a distance from you Okay, so this is what I'm seeing here in the present moment. Now, in the near future, something significant comes to an end. Okay, if you've been dealing with someone who hasn't really been offering you much, they've been very on and off with you, you don't really know where you stand with that person. I feel like that's going to come to an end because it's part of your destiny. Your destiny has a lot to do with something here that needs to end because it's not for you. And there's something here that you may need to accept in the near future. Tell me more about the Ten of Wands for Libra in the near future. So the Ten of Wands is clarified by the Nine of Cups. You have the King of Cups and the Nine of Swords. So in the near future, I'm really strongly getting that there may be some sort of anxiety or fear around a specific person who... Um, you know, you, you really connected to this person, Libra, but you start to maybe see this person's true colors. You start to see, mm, I don't know if I really want to be with this person. I don't know if this is someone that I really want, or this could be something that's just happening in your mind. But either way, there's something here that's coming to an end and it's, it's making room for something better in your life, something that's more satisfying. Tell me more about this page of pentacles in reverse. Page of Pentacles is clarified by the Queen of Cups. You have the Tower and the Eight of Swords. What is coming to an end is the fact that you're going to be going through some sort of um, disconnection here from somebody here who's been holding you back for quite some time. I feel like for many of you in the near future, somebody here is trying to offer you love, but they're still waiting for you to release something here. It could be a breakup, a bad marriage, a bad experience here. There's a lot of fear and anxiety about this uh, change that's happening in your life, but it is part of your destiny. That's what spirit is trying to tell you. Spirit is trying to say, are you going to make room for what is truly yours? Because what you don't see coming is the empress. There's something beautiful that can be yours. But are you open to it? Are you open to accepting these changes? What is this change that's coming in for Libra that is a part of their destiny in the near future? So the Wheel of Fortune is clarified by the Knight of Swords. You have the Three of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. For many of you, I'm strongly getting that there's going to be some sort of conflict that arises in the near future. But this conflict that's arising in the near future is preparing you for disconnecting from what is not working for you anymore. And that's the biggest transition. The biggest transition that you're going through, Libra, is the fact that you need to accept something here that's just not working for you anymore. And there's going to be people there to support you. There's going to be people there to help you to, to, to get through this situation but you first have to identify what isn't working and what you need to release and until you do that uh you know the opportunity to move forward the opportunity to move towards your destiny may not happen until you do that because this is something that you need to confront in the near future and it may not be easy for you to do but it's something that needs to happen is what spirit is saying and it's something that is part of your destiny okay so let's get some advice what is the advice
Okay, the advice for you is the Five of Swords in reverse and you have the Knight of Swords in reverse and the High Priestess. Your biggest piece of advice moving forward is to step back from some sort of situation that has been very uh, hard for you to deal with, okay? I feel like there's been a lot of uh, conflict, there's been a lot of competition and you've been confused about this situation. That's why your challenge here is the Ace of Swords. Your biggest piece of advice moving forward is to listen to your intuition, tap into your higher self, spend some time, quality time on your own to meditate, to really get to the bottom of why you're reacting or responding to certain situations the way that you do. For some of you, your biggest piece of advice is, you know, approaching some sort of conflicting situation situation from a different perspective. Don't just disconnect from this and say to yourself, Ugh, I don't want to deal with this. It's about confronting something, but confronting it in the right way, in the most strategic way possible. The Knight of Swords in reverse is someone who's haphazard. They just go about doing things without thinking about it. And although you do need to take action, it is time for you to take action eventually, your higher self is going to tell you and explain to you exactly how you need to go about doing that. So this is more spiritual than it is physical. There's a need for you to really tap into the higher self. And there's a lot of ways, Libra, that you can go about doing that in order to resolve this situation. Okay, so this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.